Hey everybody, it's time for another gaming vlog. And I've got a few different things I want to talk about in this video, but I wanted to start things off by commenting on my experiences with the recent open beta for Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. I'm just going to start off by saying that this is probably right now one of, if not my most anticipated titles for 2017. So one thing I was really curious about was to see if the experience of playing the game in the open beta would match my expectations for what I felt like this game was going to be like. And I think as lazy as this is, and as generally reluctant as I am to make these sorts of comparisons, I think one of the easiest ways for me to talk about this game is to compare it to one of my all-time favorite games, that being Metal Gear Solid V. For those of you who follow my channel and follow my blog and stuff like that, know that that was my favorite game of 2015. I think if you were a big fan of Metal Gear Solid V's gameplay and you wanted to be able to have that sort of experience cooperatively with up to three other people, Ghost Recon Wildlands is going to be a game that has a lot to offer for you. Having said that, I think it would be a little bit unfair to just simply leave it at that and say, oh, if you liked MGS5 gameplay, you'll like Wildlands, because there's definitely some pretty important differences and some pretty subtle differences between the two. But I can't help but think, when playing Wildlands, how much it reminds me of the great gameplay experiences that I had while playing MGS5. And so I think if you have that point of reference, it's a very easy one to make. Now, for those of you who don't have that point of reference, I could say that I think one of the big things that differentiates this game from other cooperative open world type games, specifically something like The Division, is that it's a more open-ended, more mechanically dense and refined experience than what I would say I got out of The Division last year. I think the scale and scope of the world, the various activities that you can perform within it, everything from driving and piloting different sorts of vehicles, to going on different types of missions, to either controlling your AI teammates or coordinating with uh, friends that you're playing with online. There's just so many different things that you can do in the context of this gameplay sandbox. It's hard for me to really find a lot to criticize about this game from what I've seen of it so far, other than the typical pre-release sort of jankiness that you tend to get from big AAA games these days where you can tell maybe some of the animations are a little off, some of the AIs may be a little off, some of the collision detections may be a little off at times. But I think when you look at this game in terms of the broad strokes, this is definitely a game that in my mind is shaping up to be something really special and something that I'm really looking forward to spending a lot of time playing with friends. So having said all that, I also wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on with the channel and about what's going to be happening here over the next couple of months. It turns out that I'm actually going to have the opportunity in particular over this next month or so, so like March and April, to make some new content for YouTube. What that basically means is if you went back and saw my previous video in January, your expectation for the channel this year might have been pretty low. But I actually think there's going to be a, a good realistic chance for me to put out some pretty interesting and compelling content here on YouTube over the next couple of months, covering things such as the Nintendo Switch, the GTX 1080 Ti, Wildlands, and various other cool and interesting gaming stuff that's on the near horizon. So definitely look forward to that. Definitely stay subscribed. Thanks for coming around and checking out this video today. As always, if you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, and I will see you next time. Oh Your maniacal God. cackle Creepy was uh, something else. I don't have to walk <laughs> back. Damn it. That was hilarious. Worth it.
Hey, he's just. Ah, ha, 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 ha.